Good morning, folks. We've got professors standing tall and speaking strongly. I respond in kind. A couple other pretty cool things to hit today as well, but first, here's the last 24 hours on our star. We are in the dip between 5.9 month activity peaks as we went over in detail yesterday, leaving no sunspots, just filaments and the coronal holes to watch. A few small coronal holes are strung out along the north and incoming at the limb is a bigger one. Small filaments destabilized this morning on the incoming quadrants, but they are too small to significantly affect the solar wind. Eyes on the bigger one and the incoming active areas you see shining brightly just behind the limb out of sight. Folks, the sky sound tunnel is real. They've long known about the one in the ocean, but this is like an altitude driven string connecting cups like you did as a child. This layer truly acts as a sound tunnel for explosions, volcanoes, meteors, rocket launches, and more. And they just found it in the sky. Up next, a bit of eye candy as we come to shipping tracks and ocean temperature readings, not only from the ships, but from the gliders as well. This is the Gulf of Maine, and it's one of the areas that has changed considerably as the Gulf Stream has changed. Animation is from the Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio, and is in today's link list with the rest. Finally, we've got a big statement that isn't. The Shill Factory Lund University is at it again. They're like Europe's version of MIT, only nobody respects them as such, even the woke scientists. Claiming Earth's magnetic field is not about to flip. First, they are not discussing geomagnetic excursions, the rapid flips. They're discussing the long cron reversals that only occur every few hundred thousand years. I think it's worth noting that it's been 700,000 years since the last one. We are overdue and the field is changing again now. Second, the South Atlantic anomaly is not the thing that tells us the poles are flipping. It's merely the place on Earth away from which both poles are moving. They say that the recurrence of the South Atlantic anomaly tells them that we're not due for a flip, but with the North Pole heading for Siberia, South Pole heading towards the Indian Ocean, and magnetism falling off in power with distance, the South Atlantic anomaly is the opposite spot on Earth from where they are heading, and that's all. The rapid wander of those poles and the weakening magnetic field are the signs of the excursion, and it hasn't happened like this now since about 12,000 years ago at the Gothenburg Geomagnetic Excursion, Lake Mungo before that, Mono Lake, Lachamp, Vostok, and Blake before that. This is a critical point, observers. No, the long cron reversal is not what we forecast. It's the shorter 12,000-year cycle. It's happened at least two dozen times since the last full cron reversal, and it is certainly happening again now. Folks, this is the last call for our store. Amazon shuts down their competitor's platform in less than a week, which we use. And while the textbooks are sold out, the PDF versions are still available. Our children's books are still available. And we have pretty solid amounts of the merchandise as well, including the latest hats. Last call here, and we greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.